I guarantee you, I would stake my life, I do stake my life on it, that there is value, that there are gifts, that there is importance in each and every one of you, because I know that's the truth. And I encourage each and every one of you to find that value in each other. Let your value shine. Draw it out in those who need help having drawn out from No, but I, I've spoken with, with, with high achieving high achieving students, and they all say the same thing. They say, if I could break it down into words, they say the same thing. They say, Wally, school is not fun. It's not fun. But what I know is that it's necessary. It's necessary. And I'm like, what do you mean necessary? And they're like, well, I know what college I want to go to. So in order to get there, this and this and this has to be done, whether I like it or not. See, that's the crisis we're facing right now. The crisis is that we have to have people come in to, to try to encourage kids to focus on a diploma. Tell me that's not a crisis. It's something weird. It's something we're just supposed to do for the next stage. It's a crisis, because like you said earlier, there's a lot of people who are like, we're here right now, we're having this conversation, but if I was to come in to, and, and talk to you guys in the next two or three years, what he said earlier is true. There's a good chunk of you that won't even be in Education provides opportunity and hope. 12 years of a guaranteed education in this country. You take advantage of it and go on and do so something that you want to do. Obviously, this is going to come down. All right. I'm going to tell everybody, ladder down. Work hard. Clear. If you have something that really interests you and you enjoy doing, you should do it. Even if you do it badly, if you love it, you should do it because it will develop into something for you. Uh, mentality and, uh, and that desire to learn. When I was in high school, I could be flying in jets right now instead of standing. Do you think the athletes that you guys watch on TV got that way just because they were naturally born that way? Yeah. Or did they have to train their bodies to sure. be the best they could, they could, right? So, But all those people started somewhere. I mean, all those people were eighth graders. And they were like, kind of like freaking out, like what the heck am I gonna do? Or I don't really care, I'm only in eighth grade, you're going to ninth grade, whatever. But, you know, in 20 years you'll care, because <laughs> you're gonna be like, you're going to be like hanging out. If you, if you don't care, then you're going to be hanging out and wishing you maybe did back then. So, I mean, I guess a lot of people in your position maybe didn't know where they were headed, but the people who kind of got a little bit further in their life with their families and their friends probably started thinking about now that they were maybe going to get an interest in recording sound or shooting photos or editing with your computer, or shooting with a camera, whatever. So when you get into high school, there is a program called Career Information System. Now, you'll know it as CIS. Here's what I'd like to tell you about this program. There's tons of information on this site. All kinds of information about careers, all kinds of information about colleges, anything you can imagine, it's on there. Okay, so it's the first thing this is going to do is it's going to tell you your personality type. The second thing it's going to give you is your top 30 occupations. So then from there we can explore and find out all the information that we want, all the information that we want about that occupation. Like what, what do you need in high school? What kind of training do you need? What kind of schooling do you need? What's the work environment? Do I stand? Do I sit? Do, do I interact with people? It's going to tell you everything you want to know. And it's really cool. The thing we're going to do today is called skills. Let me tell you a little bit about skills. It's kind of a little history story here. There was this man named Dr. Holland. And Dr. Holland found out and discovered years ago that your personality type connected to the working world. Your personality type connected to the working world. Everybody had a different personality type and your personality type connected to your job in some way. So for example, if you're really social, why would you want to be stuck in a cubicle all day not talking to anybody when you would like to work with people? Already know Miss Edith? 
is not the actual writing itself. The part that is hardest about writing is what is deciding what to actually put on the paper. How many people have sat here, they're supposed to do, somebody says, write this essay, and you get this blank piece of paper, and you're all like, I have no idea what to put down. Anybody had that problem? And anybody had that problem? All right, exactly. Um, and I guarantee that even the people that didn't raise their hands had that problem. Um, even people who write professionally have a hard time thinking of what to put down. So when you're writing something, sorry, I'm going to have to move you if you keep talking. I need people to hear what I'm saying, including Mr. Debris. Okay. Okay, thanks. So, focus. All right, so what we're going to do is we've, we've been to the, we've done some research on these careers. We're going to add that information to our essay. Um, we're not going to rewrite the entire essay because that's very redundant. Your essays have already been graded. What you're going to do is you're going to add information, but we're going to organize it a little bit. So the biggest part, so once again, we're going to try to make it easier, instead of staring at that blank piece of paper, we're going to try to make it easier by adding the information that we found on the internet. So is everybody good with that? Yes. You good, Mr. Edward? All right, so you're going to have to be doing a bit of writing today, but we're going to try to make it easier by organizing what we found out. But the first thing we want to talk about is, I do not, we have not discussed the grades you actually got on your essays. So at this time, please turn to your essays that were graded that you, that you can use. Ideas and content, word choice, conventions, organization, voice, and down there at the bottom, sentence fluency. It tells you all the things you need to be able to do to get a high grade. So, we're going to look at this cheat sheet, and I use this to grade your essay. So, you guys read with me? Yeah. All right, excellent. So, everybody good? Everybody's Ideas and content, first thing I scored. If you got a three, that's very close to passing, but you didn't have enough detail. A four is passing. A four is good. Mr. Jordan. All right, so if you didn't have that, you didn't have enough detail. You addressed the questions, you said who you were, what your world was like, um, you said what you wanted for the future, but you didn't give me enough to imagine that future for you, to imagine you in that place. Or you didn't give me enough details to tell me what kind of a person you were. Who you were, what your world was, and what you wanted for the future. Some people only got to the first part, so if you didn't address all of the things in the prompt, I could not give you a three. You might have had detail, you might have good detail, but once again, didn't get to everything in the prompt, didn't answer all the questions, didn't inform you about those things. You got to. Anyway. All right, organization. Once again, organization was how you arranged the details. Mr. Jordan, you with me? Mr. Justin? If you had a three, that's good. Once again, that's close to passing. You had some order. You had who you are first, what your world was like second, and what you hope to accomplish in the future third. Very good. But you might have had a few details that were out of place. So I gave you a three instead of a four. If you only had one paragraph, some people only put in one massive thing, that's a two. You need to organize your details. You must have separate paragraphs here in the secondary school. Can you not do this right now? Let's pay attention to this. Oh, why am I doing that? Because I don't need to. All right, conventions. Conventions are things like spelling, punctuation. These are some of the lowest scores. So these, this is minor stuff you can fix at the end, but again, you do need to keep it in mind. Now, I'm just going to do the Cornell notes, but you're basically going to do the same thing with the career exploration packet. So this is my job that I researched. I research teacher. Let's say I research teacher. I research it every day in my life. But, so, so, but I don't want to put necessarily everything. There might be some things in there that I don't really think are that important, that when I read this essay a year from now, I'm not going to need to remember. It's not as, not as important. I want to remember maybe the stuff that I like. I want to remember what the job requires. I definitely want to remember the steps that I'm going to have to take to get this job in the future. So I went ahead and I highlighted the stuff that I thought was important. I think it's important to remember that I have to keep track of the kids and plan the lessons. Definitely want to highlight the stuff that I like. Uh, the things that I don't like, yeah, whole duty is bad, but eh, you know, it's not really that bad. Decision for you. So you're going to have to say, you're going to read this essay a year from now. So what do you want to remember about this? Sonia, are you hearing me? Trying to answer your question, man. All right, so what do you want to remember about this job? What do you want to remember that you found out? Definitely the steps that you want to take. Um, Okay. Where are you going? Oh, okay. So, definitely the steps that you want to take. Um, maybe the things that you liked about it. What did you think was really impressive? What did you think was important about this job? So that's what you're going to highlight. All right, are you good, Ms. Okay. And it's going to be the one on the other side. You don't have your something? Wait, Sonia, who's that? Is that Juan? I think it's Juan. Now, once you have decided on 
of details. It's not just a matter of deciding the details. Now we have to decide what order they are going to go in. What am I going to talk about when I write my paper about teaching? What am I going to talk about first? So at this time, put your highlighter down and pick up a pencil. There we go. All right. Now, I must decide what is going to go first, what is going to go second, what is going to go third. So I got all these notes. What do you think would be the best thing to do. It's going to be you're going to read this essay in a year. So I'm going to call on somebody especially. So what are you going to do? You might summarize, you might describe. Exactly. So now you're going to describe, Miss Karen. You're going to describe this job. Be with me, Mr. Justin. What are you going to do with this job? Describe. Describe it. Exactly. So what things might I put on here that would describe this job to me in the future so I can remember what it was like, what I found out about it? My likes. What did I like about it? What was fun about it? So I'm definitely going to put that. It's going to be one of my descriptions. So I'm going to put that first. What else is a description? What else is really descriptive that I might put down there? What, what, you, have to do what you have to do. The duties. Exactly. So that's going to go in the same place. So I'm going to put the same number. 